Uh, I discovered something new that I'm gonna tell you. I'm really happy because I got to discover something. Let's see how I can put all this together, all these things that I'm learning. Look, I'm gonna go really quick to show you. I'm gonna hit play right here, run, and then it will run the application and I'll show you what it's doing. I have a little image that the image will move going from top to bottom, okay? And uh, I wanna say thank you to this guy right here, uh, Geeky Lemon Development. I'm watching the videos and they're working really nice. So if you wanna see those there, you're welcome to see it, but I'm really happy that I got this so far. Oops, right here. There we go. Watch. Once it loads, it's loading, it's loading. I have the image and there is white. There we go. And the little note is going down. You see how nice? Okay. This you can make like a menu or something or whatever. And then you have like a snow. You have little images of a snow or maybe little white lines that may look like rain. And then you have those lines or maybe little flowers coming, coming down or leaves. Or, you know, you can just use your imagination for whatever you want to do your app. So there you go. So now you have that going down. But I'll show you something really cool. If I go here, I uh, go to this view controller right here. Watch. I'm here in the view controller. I'm just going to go to the part of the code that I have it right here. See, that says right here, image, right there. Image center dot X and image center Y. Okay, this X and Y are from X is from left to right, from left to right, and center from top to bottom. Well, look, I'll show you better. If I type here, watch, I'm gonna type uh, plus, I'm gonna put, uh, I don't know, 15 there, and I'm gonna delete this minus. Watch, there you go, that's all I changed, okay? So if I save that and then run the image, I have plus 15 on the X coordinates, okay? So that means that the image, the little node should move from left this way to the right. It should move this way, okay? From left to right. So we're just waiting for the app to load and I'm doing this on the iPad. Usually all the tutorials are on the iPhone. I don't know why but I like the iPad better. There you go, you see it? It's moving over there, very good. So now watch, I'm gonna quit this, and I know, I know. If you're trying to see this and you don't know how to do it, you'll be so happy that you're looking at this video, like I was trying to discover this. So if you delete that, well, you leave that 15, but I'm just gonna make it faster, okay? I'm gonna go 30, really fast. I don't know how fast it will go, but if I also add something on let's say 15 or maybe 14 or whatever you want to put on the y so this is plus 30 on the center on the x and then 14 on the y save that and then run and then this i'm moving the x and the y at the same time so there are you know two movements and i have or this interval of 12 right here this interval makes the note or the image go faster. If you put one, it will go like really slow. There you go. You see? Did you see it how it went that corner? So now if you wanted to go maybe on the other direction like this way, you can just go here. I'm just gonna quit the simulator. Watch. Simulator out. You can just go here and then put minus. Watch. Minus. Minus 30. It's going really fast. I'm gonna go faster. Minus, there you go, minus, uh, it's lower, minus 10, there you go. And this, I'm going to put it 20, plus 20. So you can see, and this instead of 12, I'm going to make it faster, let's say 24, okay? Now, I'm just moving these little numbers, okay? Now watch, uh, I'm just going to go here, simulator, and run. Okay, so now once you see that, then I'll show you here how it works. And by the way, you can see in this tutorial in YouTube, you can find it here, Xcode 4 tutorial for Geeky Lemon development, and they show you how they can make, look, it's moving in this direction. Now you see, because you have 24 
minus 10 and plus 20. Minus 10 is on the x and then plus 20 is on the y. You see, now you can use your imagination and pretty much you can move your image anywhere you want. So now my next goal is to try to figure out how I can have two images moving, two. So now I have one little note moving and I need to have another, another image, something else, move and I'll see if I can figure out that myself. Okay, uh, we'll see you in the next Hello World video.